G'day mates, and welcome back to another episode of Chris Commentate Skyrim. We're here at the Brian Hammer. Uh, this disorienting as hell, disorientating as hell ship that I've just finished exploring in the last episode. Uh, and our plan was, if I recall correctly, to head to the college and continue the college quest line, which I'm going to do right now. Just over halfway into level 18. Not bad at all. Oh, hello. I was stuck on that for a second. I tried to jump over it and apparently got stuck in it. If there hello. are any problems, let me know. It's my job to keep things running smoothly. Do you know anything about the stuff of Magnus? Well, now that's an odd question. Why in the world would you be asking? Probably because it may be connected to the Eye of Magnus. The Eye of Magnus? I can appreciate that this thing, this orb, it's very impressive, very unique, and definitely worth studying. But let's not jump to any conclusions or assign it importance beyond what we're certain of. Uh huh. The Augur <laughs> referred to it as the Eye of Magnus, not me. The Augur? Just what have you gotten yourself involved in? Whatever is going on, whatever you're up to, be very careful. Uh huh. Sorry, so the staff of Magnus, please? Well, it's said to be very powerful. Has the capacity to store an incredible amount of magical power, as the story goes. Uh huh. But it's more myth than anything at this point. I've no doubt that it actually exists, but no one has seen it in, what, decades? Longer? I'm not sure. The only time I've heard it mentioned was when those Synod characters showed up some months ago looking for it. Mm-hmm. Who are the Synod? Mages based out of Cyrodiil. They fancy themselves the Imperial Authority on Magic these last few hundred years. My understanding is that all they really do is make noise in an attempt to curry favor from the Emperor. Lots of politics, little magic. I was quite surprised to find them on our doorstep. They seemed amiable enough, but their line of questioning made me... Uneasy. Mm, it became I can clear just, they're I trying to find powerful artifacts, looking to consolidate power. So no one knows the staff's location? No one here does. The Synod seemed convinced it was somewhere in Skyrim. They inquired about the ruins of Mazulft, but that's all I remember. It sounded like they were heading there, though they were rather secretive about why. I suppose if you're intent on looking for the staff, there's a chance they might be in Mazulft yet. Just don't expect them to be cooperative. Um, I don't. I'm probably going to end up having to kill them. Am I not? Uh, alright. Resolved. I, you know, I was just talking about, uh, going to some Dwarven Ruins last episode. Uh, everything is... Come on, Millhouse. What was I actually trying to do just now? I was going to check my carry weight. Eh, it doesn't matter. I don't, I think I work. Wow! Okay, let's go to Kynesgrove and walk from there. Um, I was going to shut my carry away. Yeah, no, I've got loads of room yet. Guards! Guards! There are some crazy people in a ruin not far from here. Okay, there's a little grove over here. Speaking of Kynesgrove, there's a grove right here. Hey, Fox. That was an attempt at killing a fox. It was an unsuccessful attempt. I'm intrigued to see what this is going to be, and I'm going to head to the giant camp that's just over on the left of my radar. Whoa! What? 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 Excuse me. That was rude. That was a pretty good shot. Oh, and now there's a dragon. Uh, uh, um. Where is this dragon? You know it's just gonna pop out of nowhere. And destroy me. Let's just discover this. Thank you. Witch Miss Grove. I would like to know where this dragon is. You know what would be really cool uh, in a game like this would, would be... Uh, 
a, uh, a properly... Holy crap. An accurate um, sound engine. For example, if the dragon was... Let's say over there. Right there. The sound would sound like it was bouncing off all the mountains around me when it roared. That would be really cool. Uh, I'm assuming it would take a hell of a lot of power and wouldn't be feasible on most machines, however. Although they are working on lighting engines that do roughly the same thing, so who knows? Maybe it's the same concept, just applied to sound. Uh, you know, Dragon, I really... I heard you over there. And I really love it if you could... Uh, there you are. My freaking stone flesh is gonna run out, and then the dragon's gonna land. Let's just fire a bunch of arrows over there in the hopes that something hits. You fucking little shit! You little bollocksing pieces of shit. Thank you for dying quickly. I have places to be, things to do. Okay, now let's lure this dragon down. Here we go. Now we get an actual dragon fight on our hands. Okay, it's landed over here. This gives me an opportunity to hopefully get to it. Oh my god, hello. Oh, the lag, why is it lagging so much? That was, that was not pleasant. The giant just destroyed it. How am I gonna get to it? Also, is this gonna... The giant wants my flesh. Could this dragon just give me its soul already? I'd like to just grab it from up here. Also, are there any other giants around that are just going to destroy me from... Wait, giant! Can I shoot him through there? Oh, he's on low health. I can indeed shoot him through there. Where's he going? Oh, and now the mammoth wants me. I'm really glad that it can't reach me from here. Okay, I've almost killed the giant. I think I just killed the giant, or did I just hit the dragon corpse? There we go. Giant's dead. Um... Okay, mammoth's over there. Run! I'm just gonna run around the fire until until this is done happening, and now I'm gonna run away. Screw you, Mammoth. Whee! Run away! It's probably faster than me. It's probably gonna kill me. Nope, hello. Okay, where was I headed? Um, I need to just head to my quest marker. Over here. Oh god, I haven't got the stamina. Duck and weave, boys! Duck and weave! Serpentine! To get away from the mammoth! Actually, it's not... Oh, it's still hunting me. Blue Mountain Fly was really good, so I'm gonna continue taking those. This guy, is this a courier that's gonna... ...give me something? Are you gonna give me something? Important deliveries to make. No time for chatting. You're not exactly making good headway at the moment, mate. Also, there's an angry mammoth over there that you're probably going to want to, uh, avoid. This is a cool place. What kinds of trees are these? Are they pine trees? 
I don't know. Aha, uh -huh, here we go. Good. I'm getting a lot better with my aim with the fireball spell. I should probably look into some higher level fire spells. And one of these days I should just get a bunch of random crap and chant it all to get my enchanting level up. What is this? Is this a bathtub? A spa? Dwarven spa? This is an intriguing area. I'm expecting, um... It's a storeroom. Am I going to get ambushed by someone in here? Or something in here? Probably. That's an expert level gate. Hmm. I really want to get in there, but I'm not sure I'll be able to with the amount of lockpicks that I have. God damn it, especially when I'm doing that. Okay, good. That only took two. Okay, either way, it's an expert level thing to get in. All of these things would be really good if I was into, holy crap, smithing. My god. That almost makes me want to get into smithing just so that I can use those. Actually, I don't want to do this door, I want to do the other one. Much more convenient. Um, I'm assuming they lead to the same spot. Damn it. Oh, here we go. Oh, are you kidding me? That was almost perfect. Damn it. Now I'm not going to get it. <laughs> That's how it goes. Oh my god. So close. Whoa, that was too far. What, there? Nope. Nope. It's somewhere around that angle. Ha ha ha. Ah, I love it when I do that. Yep. So that's that also led in here. Was it worth it though? More ingots. I'd say that kind of value is worth it. Although now I'm not gonna be able to carry buddy any anything. Up there that I care about? No, not really. Not much of a storeroom. They didn't really have anything in here that was particularly useful. I guess it's just all ingots. If I was into smithing, it would be heaven for me in here. Uh, pardon me while I take a drink. Sorry about that. Okay, back to business. Back to business. I'm expecting to see mages outside here. Mages? Anyone? Did I, uh... Is there anything over here that's useful to me? I'm assuming the exit will be up there somewhere. I'm not gonna bother. I'm just gonna take this from the front. From the entrance. No, uh sequence breaking for me. Gone. <coughs> oh, I kind of remember this quest. Paratus. In <laughs> Okay, that was um, kind of... Uh, what am I trying to say? Um, oh, god damn, what is the... Oh, what is it? That was... How have I forgotten the word? How have I forgotten the word? That was... Kind of... Immersive. God damn. That was immersive until the death. And then it was just ridiculous. Anyway... Attendant Gavros, the council has become aware of the lack of progress in your group's efforts. They are particularly displeased to learn that your specifications for the focusing crystal were completely incorrect. 
The entire Binders Conclave has worked tirelessly, and the Council is quite sure this new crystal will suit your needs. You are herewith entrusted. You are herewith entrusted with delivering the crystal to the site, completing your work, and delivering a full report to the Council with all possible haste. The Council trusts you will deliver the crystal to the Oculari personally, and that there will be no further complications. First adjunct Oranrel. Oranrel. Okay. Someone seems displeased. Am I going to count? Are, they, are all the automatons going to be dead, or am I going to have to fight some? Fight the backup automatons. Yes! Haha, <laughs> I saw it at the last second and I backed off. This person didn't. Yeah, I do remember this. My dog is barking in the background. Um, should be far enough away that you can't hear it, but... Uh, she does that. Hello, oh, spider. God, I hate these things. Not because they're spiders. I have no problem with spiders, but because they're annoying the shit. That was, uh... very close. Oh, God! He hit me anyway, because he's still alive. Wait, did he hit me? I didn't take any damage. I don't think. Unless I healed quicker than I actually saw. Um, hello? Hello, hello? Anybody home? A Dwemer Convector. Is that supposed to be a fancy chest, or is that, what is that actually supposed to be? What is, a Convector could be all manner of things. Um, first thing that comes to mind is something to do with Transfer of heat. I might be thinking of the wrong word, but I'm, hopefully I'm thinking of the correct kind of terminology there. Or a calcum. Not very valuable to me at the moment. Take soldiers I will take. I really should start using soul trap. That would probably be a good idea. Yeah, yeah, I see it. Just see if I can unlock the trap trigger first. Otherwise, I'll just open the door and stand out of the way. There we go. Well, that was easy. That went well for me. Is how big is this particular area? Not big. It's just got a chest in it. Chest. Oh my god. Oh my freaking god. Um. That's a spoon. <laughs> um. I can't take either of these things as much as I want them. Uh, can I. It's major destruction. I guess that doesn't make a difference to my actual enchantment. So it's not useful for disenchanting, it's useful for selling. But do I need the money? Probably not. So that's going to stay there unless I make a return to this place uh, at some point later. I mean, really, I should have had the foresight to realize I was coming into a Duema ruin and that I was going to be picking up all the heavy things. But, um. I didn't care. Wow, that was a horrible miss. Let's grab this nothing. Let's grab nothing from that guy. Where'd he come from? This thing. Okay. Let's switch to archery for a little bit. Actually, how close is my destruction to leveling up? I should have gone the other way, but no one cares. I think I've just leveled up, so that can... Actually, level 49... I will level up to level 50 and then switch to archery for a while. Uh, this seems an awfully good area to be ambushed. Hello, Chorus. I'm to Falmer territory now. Falmer. 
platformer. I need, to, I need to decide on a way to say that word. Former, Falmer. I think saying Falmer sounds too similar to Thalmor. Uh, so I think I'm going to try and... Um, it was eating this guy. That sucks for him. I think I'm going to try and say Falmer and Thalmor. Instead of Falmer and Thalmor. Make it easier to understand, considering I'm probably already difficult to understand for most people watching. Australian accent with a shitty voice on top of it, and um, and mostly American viewers on YouTube. I mean, on the release day of this. I'd be lucky to get two or three views at most, and they'll probably all be Australian. But later, I might be getting more views on my early videos, and they're probably going to be American. Just from the majority of people that use YouTube are indeed American. Or British. Have they been eating this mammoth? How did the mammoth get down here? Oh, it fell. I see. And they've been eating what remained of it. Actually, it was probably still alive when it hit the ground. It was probably just had all four of its legs broken. That would suck. I feel sorry for that mammoth. What is going to be around the next corner? More chorus combined with... What? I just... I, I started forward a little bit really quickly when I took out my spell. This is going to be... Yep. Hello, spheres. We're onto the Dwar Dwarven Sphere area of the... of the place. Are you going to... Is one going to come out of you? No. Um, that weighs four. There is no way I'm taking it. Well, that's the level for lockpicking. Oh, was that it? That was it. Now I just need to find the sweet spot. Oh, really? My dog is barking again. Is there someone prowling around outside my house? I hope not. It'd be inconvenient. Lots of metal ingots. God, I wish I was smithing now. This would be the best place. Although, I have nearly full carry weight, so... Maybe it's for the best that I'm not smithing with this character. Nothing of interest. There really isn't usually that much of interest in these Dwarven Ruins. It's just the... Uh, the ridiculous amounts of metal that you can get from here is the only thing my people are interested in. I think a large amount of the time. You are dead, sir. Nothing again. This is disappointing. Hello. What? What? Why is this happening? I'm, I'm getting hit because of that bloody spell cancelling out. I probably could have killed him before he even hit me. What is with this cancelling out spells? I think it's because I'm releasing them just slightly too early, so they look like they're finished casting, but they haven't actually, and so they cancel. I'm bad. <laughs> I'm surprised there was nothing down there to come up and kill me as I made so much noise with this guy. Storming spider worker. There we go. There's something to take from it. Really? There's nothing down there? I'm expecting stuff to come pouring out of every nook and cranny in a second. Which way is the actual way? See what I did there? I managed to combine my sound of surprise with the uh, 
with the sentence that I was saying. I'm a genius. Hello? Loot? Never a good idea to put away spells when you're going into a new spot. Oh, hello. Damn it. I'm running out of lockpicks again. There we go. These are all adept gates. Most, well, adept and above, but mostly adept. I just changed what the way I was saying that word halfway through saying it. That's worth a lot and it doesn't weigh much, so I'll take it. Alright, there's nothing else down here aside from the alchemy table. Good. You know, I love the fact that no matter where you are, no matter what place you're in, alchemy tables all look exactly the same. It's just, it, it, it's, what is it, the most optimal way of combining ingredients to, to create potions is that exact setup with those exact colours and types of timber and glasses and well, flasks, I guess. That's that's the most it's the most optimal way possible of combining ingredients. Apparently. Because they're in Dwemer ruins and they are in major city houses and stores. The exact same design. That's my excuse. That's what most people would say that it's just lazy or at least um, I wouldn't say it's totally lazy, it's, it's a matter of time as well but you know, um, oh hello let's get through there before it does anything else um, uh, graphic design not lazy but just pressed for time because of course you can't make a new model for everything for every situation. Uh, it's <laughs> of course the reason why um, I researched him. The reason why you don't find I don't think I, I for one definitely do not know a single game that exists that has different sized clothing. That, for example, you won't fit into if you're too big or too small for it. Uh, and there's a very good reason for that. That would be the most tedious and pointless thing to add to a game. It'll be realistic, but pointless. And highly tedious. So there is... Every... Factor weighs against adding something like that to a game. Especially if you have customization. So, for a game like this, not like this. In fact, um, Elder Scrolls Online is probably a better example where you can actually customize your height and weight. So, how muscular you are, all that kind of stuff. Um, in a game like that, you want to spend the time making clothing that has different sizes that you have to find that fit you. Um, go ahead, I will admire you for doing it. but. Uh, the amount of time that I think would be totally wasted on creating something like that would not make up for or would not justify the result would not justify the amount of time wasted on it in my opinion is what I've been trying to say also I don't want that fucking thing do I'm a cog still weighs 10 if I don't want them Ebony ore, wave one, I'll take it. I'm expecting a chest in here, yep. With a... no lock. I'm getting dangerously close to my weight limit. And that would put me over. I actually don't want to take that just for that reason. Copper and sapphire, not a big deal. Resolve boilery. Almost level 19, too. I wonder if... How far is destruction? About halfway, just over. I'm... I'm... If I make it out of here without going over my weight limit and having to do a whole bunch of inventory organization, it'll be a bloody miracle. 
Hmm, suspiciously rolling tw dwarven sphere. Ha ha! You know what? I will follow that guy next episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like as it immensely helps. Um, hopefully you did enjoy the episode. You can also favorite and subscribe. Um, I've been Crusader, this has been Skyrim, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.